Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tales from the GIS. This is your host Edward Roccatello and today we will see something quite easy in QGIS which is the filtering of the features and how to export them because it is such uh, an easy thing to do but um, it is a bit hidden in QGIS so let's uh, see how we can do this uh, in a few clicks now we have QGIS open with, with a huge shapefile of the whole uh, roads of a region of Italy and let's take a look to the attribute table uh, it is a very large set of features so maybe you want to filter it out um, with uh, a few combi a few um, attributes combination and you may use the control f shortcut or the button with the funnel here select features from uh, using form click it and we may want maybe to um, filter it filter them using the F class maybe we want to keep the motorway so click it uh, let me introduce this this form here you will uh, see the the attributes the properties here and a few fields to set the actual content on you will filter on and after that you will have uh, an exclude field uh, a button with the um, preset like exclude field but you can set the actual condition you want to use so maybe we want to have the motorways so let's set to equal to the the button on the right let's write motorway here okay hit auto complete and click filter features okay once you have it you may turn to the table and you will see the 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 list which is has which have been filtered as you can see in the menu here in the toolbar here you in the title bar actually so you have uh, total features um, more than 430,000 and we have filtered with our filter we have about uh, 1,000 and half a bit more actually we want to select only the filtered one so let's use the the selection Here, and you will see that some features get selected here. Okay, now you can close the window. Okay, we QJS will keep the selection. It's in yellow, so it's not really visible. But now you can export using save selected feature as and let's put it into um, another file maybe a ship file and let's call it motorways select the file name I'll put it in my usual data no at finished so let's okay we can test so roads motor ways okay save it okay add the map and then we have our filter motorways okay this procedure have generated another file well, I mean, well, but we may want only to filter the selection to, to filter only the visualization we have two ways here use the styling 
so we may want to um, use the rule based tiling so double click the roads symbology uh, the drop down have to be set to rule based and then we have here um, uh, the possibility to edit the rule so here we can add a class which is the attribute we want to filter on and with primary maybe primary okay let's test it okay it uh, return about 10,000 features and we may want to change the type okay apply and then we will have this uh, filtering based on the symbology not the best thing to do because everything gets rendered even if uh, uh, it's not visible because it's uh, done in the in the how can I say in the in the symbology okay let's take out all of this and another thing we can do for filtering is actually right clicking and use the filter menu and we can filter using F class equal primary. Let's click OK. And this is now done using a direct filter. So it's not uh, um, doing any kind of rendering. So we may want to change uh, maybe the the rule here we can set the um, the order the thing we can do is to fix symbol levels so here we have the rules and we can set layer 0 with 0 layer 1 to 1 in order to avoid this kind this uh or rendering Okay, these are so three ways to filter things in QJS. This preserves this one, which uses the filter here, preserves the data. Also, the the one using the symbology preserves the data. The other one, which is actually an export of the of part of the layer, uh, it's uh, quite different. Another thing we can do as to um, let me uh, toggle this filter here okay now it's everything is rendered as it is uh, uh, we can split the vector layer using an attribute so we can have all these different classes filtered so let's select uh, f class and then we we want to to save it to the data test exports select folder run let's wait a bit okay something worked no you may want to close this uh, it uh, there's a splitting in the background but we can add something it has already split let's try with another one okay this is okay as you can see we have had the f class primary and we have a lot of uh, data exported uh, a lot of data actually so okay this is with this video, we have seen a few ways to filter out features using attributes and you can do it also specially, but it's um, another thing. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any question, please add a comment, click that like button and see you to the next episode.